All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Let's, uh, let's try not to get utterly murdered by a bunch of automatons. Oh my god. Where's another? I don't know where another one is. Oh, they're up there. That's where they are. Andiamo, pezzi di merda! Besides a bunch of corpses, some of them headless. Hmm. What is that? Logic module. I still have to probably go upstairs for that. Through here? Yeah, I know it's part. I'm trying to open it. Wait a minute, did I already come through here? Come back here, you little piece of shit. Ugh. Optional object. Where am I supposed to get that from? Is there a map of the inside? Yes, but it's not helpful. <laughs> okay. It's it's in there. I'll, I'll have to figure out how to get in there. Let's switch then to, wait, what is this then? Security Chief's corpse. Wait, what? Oh, upstairs. Did I walk right past, I did. Machine gun. Mm, do we want to get rid of the Ambrick this? Still no? Alright. Can I run? Yes, I can. Good. Too low. Alright, so back the way we came, we can get that. And then we can work on re uh reestablishing power here. And then switching it to doom a bunch of people. Nope, stop fucking reloading, god. Can I there we go. Alright, so we can get that later. Um divert power from the geothermal plant. Last. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Yeah, huh? Got anything to say about it? Reception, I noticed you mentioned your dad. Thomas seems very fond of you. He sounds like a creeper. He's just interested in fixing stuff. 
He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Oh, that's cute. Uh, the boy is head over heels for you. Yeah, he, he kinda is. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Okay. You mean about the mission being too clean? Uh, yeah. I know, but Vicker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf under glass. Uh, you're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it needs a fixing. Uh, that's an ideal, not what we live in, but what we strive for. Then why do you want to talk to him? Never been watched for religion myself. It just comes off cold to me is all. Oh, that's the point, yeah. What is that? Master console. Once we do this, there's no going back. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Yeah? Do you understand what you're about to do? I do. Wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's oh, no, hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. I think I see your point. Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers in power. Deserters are a community. Can't just destroy what they built. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Uh, glad he did. Like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. <laughs> in that order? Okay, that's pretty cruel. Um, oh. Okay, so, so to determine... Right, continue. Redirect power to Edwater to the Botanical Laboratory. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's find the three volumes. Because we'll, we'll find the books, find that other one for Vicar Max, too. We'll head back to the geothermal plant, then head back to Edgewater, and then we'll pop out and leave, finally. Okay. Wait, what, uh... Yes, that's volume one. And then, wait, what is that? Volume three's in there.
Oh my god. There we go. Uh, down. And just simply off into the side. Back out we go. It doesn't much matter which door I go out. Alright. Time to go. I don't think this uh, place can be further looted than it already is. So in lieu of that, let's uh, find some books. Necklace. I need to go and sell all this junk. It was in the ki I was just in here. I mean, I guess lesson learned, just uh, start checking all objectives while you're inside buildings, but. Oh my. No, I think we found it. No, that's that's a door to outside. Wait, what? I thought I picked up volume three. Oh, that's terrifying. All right. Volume three. Where is that? Is that the geothermal plant again? I could have swore I picked it up. Oh, jeez. This better be the last time I go in here. Just go flying. Um, where? You're not real. You're not real. Oh, that's right. I never found Higgins. You're not real. Oh my God. You're not real. Higgins? Where you at, buddy? Get away!
Hi, buddy. Not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Uh. I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming. You can talk? Yes. The Phantom's never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. No, you shouldn't. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Uh... You're not imagining me. Slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which yeah. terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. <laughs> I use it as a reminder. Okay. Back away slowly. Uh, how long you been down here? Ooh, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Well, you refer to yourself in the third person, so I'm gonna say at least a couple of months? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. So none of those. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Right. Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Uh, this place looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. As usual, you were... Okay. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Okay, uh, if you worked on these mechanicals, you must know how to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Ironic deaths are the worst. You made your point. I'll help you. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Okay. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Uh, wanted to ask you something? The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. No, thank you. Forgot what you were gonna say? Me too. Goodbye. Okay, uh, and he said the control module was in just the other room, which I'm assuming is upstairs. Can I not? All right, let's check journal. Return to Thomas. Do, 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 do. Retrieve the power regulator. Convince the deserters to return. Wait, optional, speak to Vicar, divert power, uh, reprogram on a mechanicals chest. We gave you a passcode to uh, a local terminal located elsewhere in the plant. Allows you to reprogram the plant, changing. Hmm. Okay. But where is that terminal? Yeah, let's actually, uh, journal. Oh, it's, it's nowhere to be found? Okay. I guess I just won't do that. <laughs> Unless the opportunity presents itself. Is this a locker room? That might be better 
armor. Level four versus four. Okay, so it doesn't much matter. Was that mod called a Mr. Ouch? Might be this terminal up here. Guess not. It's got to be whatever that is up there. But oh, the other door is open. just opening another door now let's get the hell out of here all right off we go let's find that uh part of the medicine now where is oh there it's this one it's that one really that actually does stuff so let's uh let's go leadership why not and then oh back and what do we want to do? Vendor prices. Fast travel when encumbered, please. But I'm still over encumbered. Yes, that helps. Collector's domicile just up ahead. Past the community center. Thank God it's not in the community center. It's just behind Edgewater, actually. None of that. Something came through and killed all of them. I'm quite positive it wasn't me. Search the domicile. Did I get it? cave. Wait, up oh, this way.
Transport wreckage. Here they come! Here who come? What? Oh my god! How you feeling, Bravati? Oh my. There we go. Uh-oh, I don't know what the red is. I didn't. Oh, shit. Easy. Uh, what else did I pick up that I needed to... Yes. Can I... Oh, no. So, now, we could go back to Edgewater, but can't fast travel near hostile. Where? Okay. Geothermal plant. Is this, where is this? Tentacle Labs. Journal. Everybody's back here. Thomas. Everybody keeps <laughs> staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Uh, lucky day. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Both of them. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Not anymore. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. And hold on, I've got one more for you. Don't keep me in suspense. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Oh, definitely. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear. I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Thanks. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. Not a problem. Where is she? She actually here? Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. No. Zerter. I don't see Z Oh. Nope. Okay, whatever. Let's go talk to Adelaide. Well, first let's stop the workbench. Uh, what does this do? Crit damage? Where's the door? That 
That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Hey now. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Reed needs his people back. It isn't personality. I just need your power. Uh, don't owe you an explanation. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Okay. You tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Uh, I'm dealing with, with Reed for you. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Okay. Uh, Reed isn't going to leave his post. I'll need to convince him. What happened? You Adelaide, uh, all this anger coming from somewhere. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Mm -hmm. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Oh. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. That's, well, it's kind of the point of decomposure, so what happens when you run out of corpses? Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty, enough for a generation's worth of crops. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Mm. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. Yeah, I so understand. So I buried that. my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. All right. Let's go convince them to go home. Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do is all. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Uh, don't, uh, so don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer? You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Leave Adelaide behind. Edgewater needs you. Why is that? Adelaide hates Edgewater. Hates everything Edgewater stands for. Hates what that town does to people. What it did to her. We're the nearest she's got to kin. We go back to Edgewater, we may as well have stuck a knife in her heart. Are you sure about this? If we head back to Edgewater on our own, Adelaide won't come with us. She'll stay here and curse us till the end of her days. 
expect we got no choice. Edgewater needs us back. Oh, shit. Loath as I am to admit it, we need Edgewater. You okay with this, Grace? My fears are all settled. Thanks for helping me with Zoe. Just give us some time to gather our personals and say our goodbyes. If you run into Reed, you tell him we're coming back, yeah? I thought I had the option to remove him first and... Oh shit, I ain't mean to do that. Okay, um, let's go back to Edgewater. Well, I guess I kind of fucked that up. <laughs> we'll see if we can still do it. Okay, um... Let's go talk to Reed first in the tower. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products. Courtesy of the people of Edgewater. Okay, wait, there's some I've been meaning to By ask. All means. Thomas. Thomas Kemp? I remember him. Had to write him up for daydreaming a few too many times. He tries real hard, Mr. Thompson. This is something he wants to do. That'll make him twice as good. I will give him a chance to impress me. If he knows his way around a toolbox, I may have a place for him in the Holcomb workshop. All right. This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive, one way or another. All right, well, goodbye. All we've got left to do is talk to Vicar Max. Oh, and Ludwig. Oh, and her. Hello. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Right, definitely. It's not that simple. You want my salads, you have to buy it. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Somebody deserving. Silas on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Right. Well, I'll be seeing you. Uh, where, where is the church? Where is the church? Oh, wait a minute. We got to turn stuff in here, too. Almost lost a finger in the Something to report? Yep, bunch of deaths. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. 
I remember him. He was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Yeah, why can't I turn them in all at once? Mabel Burgess. Age 37. Right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. I've got the finger. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. I think Bert I cut off local his head. Creature before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint to ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. All right, see ya. I'm gonna go talk to Ludwig. Oh, there's the... It's a fine new day in Edgewater. The cannery hums, street lights and faces glow. I suppose this means the two of you were able to sort out the matter? Yep. Seemed like the better choice. Not sure I made the right decision. There's little point in second guessing now. Take comfort in the fact that your choices are always, ultimately, in line with the grand plan. Yeah, definitely. Uh, From our own graveyard, just outside the gates, and Silas had not even an inkling. What do they pay the man for? To bury? He spends all day digging graves, Vicar. Sir, sometimes he's got to sleep. Yes, of course. Uh, my reaction was unreasonable. Uh, you don't find Adelaide doing objectionable? Flowers grow well enough, and creeping ivies, and the fuzzies that grow on rocks, but we don't eat none of that. It is my understanding that none of the local life, plant or animal, is edible. Earth crops are grown in farms, not isolated cannery towns. Once the spark of life has fled, the mortal form is but unanimated matter, comprised of the same elements as the rest of the universe. We inter for the comfort of the living, not the benefit of the dead. While distasteful, I would judge Ms. McDevitt's actions beneficial to the greater good. Yeah. Surprised you'd say that. Intellectually, that makes sense. Still doesn't sit right. Maybe uh, a bit upset of the dead. Yeah. The universe is a mechanism. Its operation and meaning can be understood by observation. By understanding, we move closer to verity and kinship with the Grand Architect. Right. Animals are ruled by their hearts. Humans were gifted with intellect for a purpose. Yeah, enough of corporate religion. Here's your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? <laughs> I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Uh, you didn't want that book to keep from the others. You're overacting a bit. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. At least you uh, still have your mission to give... Plague and Blackwater have no crap about leading your flock. Please, those dolts. 
Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You can fly with me. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Sure. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. Yeah, I'll need I'm pretty the handy counseling. with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Well, welcome aboard. Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery, and to leave this place behind. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. All right, and now we've got two companions, lovely. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, I think oh, when we return, we're going to finally blast out of Edgewater. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.